everybody and welcome to Poland Daily Travel on this beautiful sunny day in Gdansk, Poland on the Baltic coast. And behind me you will see elements of the skyline of the old town. You can see the, the town hall, uh, the cathedral, and uh, other prominent buildings. This is just directly behind me. Um, we're standing on Bastion Zubro. This is one of the uh, defensive points strategic defensive points that were placed all along this perimeter uh, of Gdansk. We're on the southeastern side, I would say. East is that way. It's where the sun's coming from. So south is, is out here. Warsaw, about 400 kilometers away. Uh, to this direction, uh, to the east, you'll find the, uh, the Vistula Lagoon, which uh, leads out to, uh, to the Baltic Sea past Kaliningrad, where the Russians uh, have a province called Kaliningrad. It used to be part of, of uh, Prussia and a part of Poland, alternately, over the last thousand years. Um, we, uh, we can walk along and just show you. I mean, it's kind of interesting because, uh, well, to me it's interesting, perhaps for you too, I hope so, anyway, um, that it's only a 10, 15 minute, I say 15 minute walk. And you're out here uh, between the branches of the Mot Motlava River. There's one there, one there. I should turn around and show you. And the other one is there. It's both the Motlava, um, but there's also a canal here. And, uh, and the, these fingers of the river are running into the town. So you have the one that goes around, which was the old moat. That's this big one here. Then you have the river with the lock, and uh, you have another piece of it, a piece of it there. So um, that's what's going on. Uh, this really is immediately out in the suburbs and uh, not too far, which is great. So this is a good place to stay. You can come and walk around here uh, in the fringe of the well, this sort of intermediate between the suburbs and the city, kind of strip of countryside, if you will, or, or a Riverside Park, perhaps, is a better way to put it. And, uh, and all is well. There's a lot of, uh, lot of construction going on along here. They're going to be putting in lights. So I guess this would be a place you can come and see the view at night when they're finished with it. A lot of construction going on. Uh, in, in this area, I guess, to make the park nicer, which is superior. Ah, and you can even see, before we go to the break, you can even see a swan down here in this algae-covered pool. I don't know if you can see it. A little swan enjoying uh, a Monday morning, uh, a Monday morning soak. Yeah, oh yeah, boats out on the river over here too people doing their kayaking or stand up stand up paddle boating very nice Hello, everybody, and welcome back after that fine trailer. We're, in the, we're being barraged here on the, on the river that you were just looking at before the break by tourist boats. So uh, they're going to have to turn around right here because the lock is there and uh, uh, go back the other way. If you were to follow the Motlava all the way out uh, from, from where the old town is, you saw the old town in that shot, so you have an idea of how far away we are. If you were to follow that right the way out, 
uh, to the Baltic Sea, you would come to Vesterplatte. Vesterplatte is where, uh, effectively we can say, the invasion of Poland began in 1939 on the 1st of September and effectively began World War II. So not only is Gdansk famous for a thousand years as a, as a uh, settlement, uh, uh, an early settlement, early town, uh, and uh, 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 it's also, and a, grow, and a city that grew, a Hanseatic, grew into a Hanseatic city, it's also famous as the place where World War II started. It was called uh, 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 Gdansk, uh, but uh, also Danzig by the Germans. Uh, the free city of, of, of Danzig, you might read about, and you'll get a good idea of the history. Um, of course, it's flip-flopped back and forth between Poles and Germans for a thousand years. And now it happens to be in Poland since 1945, because, you know, the Germans lost. Sometimes we forget. The Germans lost that war. They started it and they lost it. And uh, uh, Poland was uh, the beneficiary of uh, the Allied victory, as well it should have been, and so was Central Europe until, of course, uh, the Russian takeover. At any rate, I also wanted you to see these beautiful apartments built on the canal here. All of this has been built in the last 15 years, 10 to 15 years. Uh, so all of this development is new, new. Oh, they're going through the lock. Let's go. Look here. They actually went through. Nice to know. Yeah, they go through and go straight out and uh, down the river. Oh, that'd be fun to do. Yeah, so remember that you can do that kind of journey when you come to Gdansk. Anyway, I'll leave you with this view for now of the canal going back to, uh, or the river going back to the old town. And uh, you too can come here, take a boat ride. You can go that way, or you can go that way, all the way to Vesterplatte in the Baltic Sea. Sounds good, doesn't it? Eat some lunch or some supper while you're on the way. Mmm, it's making me hungry. Okay, we're going to move on now to other sites. We're going to go to Sopot and, if we have time, also Gdynia on this series of programs. So plenty ahead to see. Thanks for watching. I must say, uh, you're looking well. <laughs>